Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at a concept called the prefix sum and we're, we're just going to be exploring it in the form of a simple question that you might see in a coding interview or problem. So the question here is find the sum of the numbers in the given range from 14 to 29. Now we've just simplified this here, but in general you just may be asked to find the sum of the numbers in any given range and you just may be given multiple ranges. So your immediate solution might be, so in this example, we want to find from index 14 to 29. Well, let's see what that is. So index 14 is right here. So we'll start here. And then we're ending right before 29. So that's going to be here. So we want to have all of these numbers and we want to add them all up and see what result we get. So the first thing that you might try to do with this is a brute force solution. So you would say that you have a sum variable is equal to zero. And then you have a for loop. So for i in range and you're starting at 14 and then you're going to end right before 29 so 29 keep in mind i'm just writing this in python right now so for i in range 14 to 29 we're just going to add whatever element is there so sum plus equals let's say that this is called r r bracket i it's very quick to implement but the issue with this is that suppose that instead of having this small amount of elements, I have, let's say, 1 billion elements that I have to process like this. And let's say I have tens of thousands of queries that I have to do with this. So tens of thousands of times that I have to run a uh, summation of a certain range. Well, that's going to take a lot of time to accomplish. So this is actually not the best way of solving this. But there is another way of solving this, and that's through a prefix sum. So what exactly is a prefix sum? Well, to identify what exactly it is, let's just draw a quick diagram. So let's erase this part. And suppose I have a rectangle going from here to here. So this is a long rectangle. Let's say that represents some quantity. And now let's say I draw another rectangle going from here to here. So it starts at the same location, but it ends just a little bit before. Well, now if we want to find the area of this missing portion from here to here, all we have to do is subtract the area of the red rectangle minus the area of the green rectangle. Because as you can see here, this fits in perfectly. So it's just a missing piece. So that's one of the key elements of a prefix sum. Basically, the idea of a prefix sum is that we're going to compute the sum for the first i elements for any i between 0 and n being the number of elements. So for example, in this case, if I try to create a prefix sum here, it's just going to be an array. So I'll start off by having 0 right here. It'll be right before this first element. And then once I find the zero, the first element or the zeroth index element, I'm going to add that value onto my prefix sum at that location. So this becomes 2. And then I'm going to carry that over to the next location and add 8. So 2 plus 8 is 10. And then I'm going to go to the next location and add 9 to that. So 10 plus 9 is 19. And then I keep doing that. So 30, 42, and 68, and then 95, and so on and so forth, all the way until I get to the end here. Now, once I do that, this entire strip here that we've generated is simply an array of sums from the zeroth element up to that ith element. So for example, 19 is just the sum from the zeroth element all the way to that index. So 2 plus 8 plus 9. That would yield 19. Now how can we apply this concept to this problem here to find the sum of the numbers in a given range? So let's say I find the sum of all the numbers, let's say all the way up till 13. So that's index 13. So that's going to be up till here. So at that point, let's say it's going to be 362. And then let's say that we're going all the way to 29. So right before 29, that's at index 28. And the sum of all those numbers is going to be 1,331. So what these numbers mean is that if I take the sum of all the numbers from here to here, I'm going to get 362. But if I take the sum of all the numbers from the beginning, all the way to index 28, I'm going to get 1,331. And so if we looked at our analogy that we did here, in order to find this blue part, 
we all we have to do is subtract the red part minus the green part. So here the green part is the 362 and the red part is 1331. And notice here that we're actually subtracting at index 13 instead of from index 14 because we want to include index 14 in our answer. Keep in mind that we want to go from 14 all the way till 28. But we're including 28 because this entire thing has to include 28. We're not extending to 29. That would be counting extra. So essentially all we have to do in order to find this is create a prefix sum array that calculates all the sums from the zeroth element to the ith element, whichever i that you're currently at. When you go to find the sum of the numbers in the given range, all you have to do is take the upper bounded index, the element at that index in the prefix array, and subtract that by the lower bounded index minus one. So basically we're taking the 28th element minus the 13th element. And that should give us the sum of the numbers in this range. So in this case, if we apply it here, we should find that the sum of this range is going to be 969. And we can even double check that if we add up all these numbers. So if we add up 47 plus 52 plus 56 plus all the way to 78, we're going to find that we still get 969. So it works. All right, let's go and implement this in code. So here's a list of numbers that we were working with earlier, all the way from 2 to 99. Now there are two steps in this program. The first step is to actually generate the prefix sum array. Once we've generated that array, we can use it to find the sum of numbers in any given range, and we don't have to keep on generating a new prefix sum. So essentially what that means is that it'll take a linear amount of time to generate the prefix sum, and then it will take a constant time to actually find the sum of the numbers in each given range. And that's going to be very quick. So the first thing that we can do is create our prefix sum array. So we're just going to generate a list called sums. And we're going to set this equal to just zero. And we're just going to repeat this length of numbers plus one times. And the reason we're doing plus one is because the very first element, the zeroth indexed element of sums is just going to be a placeholder value. It's just going to be zero. It's not actually going to technically map to any value in numbers. So every index in numbers is going to map to the same index plus one in sums. So the way we can generate our prefix sum from here is to use a for loop. So for i in range length of numbers, we want to go through every single number here. We're going to say that the element at the index plus one in sums is going to be sums bracket i plus one, and that's going to be equal to the previous element in sums. So that's sums i plus the current element that we're on in numbers. So numbers i. And so that's just going to carry over the previous number, add the new number that we're currently looking at, and store that in our new position. And it's going to keep doing that as we iterate through all the numbers. Now, that's basically it that we have to do here. So the next part is to find the sum of the numbers in the given index range. So remember that we wanted to go from 14 to 29. So at this point, we can just say range sum is equal to sums at index 29 minus sums at index 14. And the reason we use these indices is remember that earlier we said that we can only take it from the 13th index to the 28th index. But with sums, notice that we've shifted everything one to the right because we started our sums array with a placeholder zero. So in reality, we can just plug in 29 and 14 as our indices. And range sum is going to store the sum of the numbers in this given index range. And finally, we can just print it just to see what it looks like. So this is all we have to do for our prefix sums program. Let's go ahead and run this in the terminal. So we see that we get a sum of, 600, of 969, and this was exactly the number that we were looking for. Let's try a different range. So I can try to find the sum of the numbers maybe from index 5 to index 19. So the way I do that is range sum is equal to sums bracket 19 minus sums bracket 5. We can just comment this one up here and let's go ahead and save this and run this and we should get 590 and that is correct. Now we can even find the sum of all the numbers from our prefix sum. Our prefix sum did calculate that. So that would be range sum is equal to sums bracket 36 minus sums bracket zero. And so this example here really highlights, really illustrates why we needed to have that extra placeholder value is because we don't want to include 
the element at the lower bound. We want to subtract away all the elements before that lower bound. And this right here represents that. And so this right here represents our upper bound. So basically we're gonna find the sum of the entire list. So we can run this. And when we do, we should see that we get 1964, which does happen to be the sum of all the numbers in the numbers list. So that just shows us that the prefix sum works for any range as long as the range is valid. So that's basically it for this tutorial, and I hope this was helpful.